Welcome to another exciting episode of the Business of Digital podcast, featuring your host, Matt Siltala and Dave Rohr. Hey, oh hey, that's us. How's it going, everybody? It is. It is, and <laughs> um, my microphone's working. <laughs> yes, always a good thing for a podcast. Well, we wanted to talk today, um, just kind of give everybody a, a, an idea of something that Dave and I were, were you know, thinking about when we were at a recent conference. We were talking about um, just some of the advantages that you could take, you know, when you, or just some of, I guess, benefits would be better than advantages, but um, just some of the things that you could do to capitalize on your holiday office party. You know, we are, it is that season where we are doing office uh, uh, holiday parties, Christmas parties, whatever you want to call them, just, you know, the party season is upon us. And so what I was thinking about, what I thought would be a great uh, opportunity to, to have a conversation about, and just kind of get everyone's uh, thoughts. I'd love for you to share your thoughts in the comments, but um, just uh, just the different things that you could do to take advantage of it from a company uh, standpoint. So for example, one of the things that I was thinking of was how great of an opportunity this is for uh, showing off your culture, okay? Um, again, I know that everybody in different parts of the world, it might be easier to hire people in Chicago than it is in Utah, than it is in California. I don't know, but I know in Utah, it's really hard to attract good talent and that's where our main office is. And so, um, one of the things I was thinking that would be awesome is if you could, um, start taking, you know, lots of video, taking lots of pictures, taking lots of things that, uh, you know, you could put on social media and use it to share with uh, everybody what your culture is about. And so it might be, you know, there might be someone, a potential employee that's checking out your socials and see, you know, what it's like at the Avalanche offices or what it's like at an Avalanche office party. I know the last several years we've done um, office Christmas parties at, uh, we, we've rented out a whole top suite area at a jazz game and people loved it. And I remember, you know, we had one guy come in and, and he was enjoying the party with us. He's like, I looked at this last year and I was like, man, I thought how awesome that would be and I, how much I wanted to work for Avalanche because I saw you guys, what you did to your employees and how you took care of them. And so anyway, that's kind of my, my thought process, Dave, with this and, and why I thought that it would be good to talk about, you know, just some of the different things that we could do as business owners, um, you know, to, to take advantage of office Christmas parties or agency People just how we use it for uh, recruiting, um, you know, finding those good employees. How you can even use it, and let it, you know, letting your potential clients see what it's like at Avalanche you know, or wherever. Um, just things like that. I don't know. Thoughts, sir? Well, and I've done, and even not just Christmas parties or holiday parties or end of year parties, but I've worked at two different companies. Uh, one was a SaaS solution and one was an agency, a digital agency, much like Avalanche. And we had like Office Olympics. So it would wow. bring together, it would bring together, you know, a couple, everyone on the team had to be in one event. Um, and not everyone got to participate, but the goal was to try to get as many people participating or supporting, you know, your division. So like customer service, sales, like there was multiple sales groups and, you know, the marketing team and IT, the dev, everyone had, you know, their own little team. And there would be things like, you know, potato sack race and foosball and darts. You're saying good or, team building. Uh, and, yeah, and it would be each, each day in the afternoon, there was like an hour or two where, you know, if you tried to go into the kitchen or in certain areas, it was just complete commotion. And, and it was just like a fun week or so of, you know, if you weren't on the phone or, you know, you weren't doing something, you would try to go for a little while and watch. And there was um, Apples to Apples, I think was a game, like a board game. Like there was all sorts oh, yeah. of things. So it wasn't just like sports and skill, but there was like a little bit of luck and there was like board games and like all sorts of crazy stuff. And like first place got so many points, second place, blah, 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 blah. Um, at an agency I worked at, they broke you into, it was like a scavenger hunt. And you randomly got selected. And what happened is it wasn't like you were just with, you know, the SEO team or you just weren't with the marketing team. It was just random people. And so what that did is they brought together all these different people from project management, PPC, SEO, you know, account manager, and you all worked together. 
Nice. And you went on a scavenger hunt throughout San Diego, downtown. Well, that's not and when you And you were all done, you know. Um, my team may have gotten, I think we got second place or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I know I have a little award somewhere. Um, but it was just like a fun afternoon running around downtown San Diego. And then at the end, you know, you got to have some food and some beer at a, a local place. And it wasn't just... You know, let's go somewhere and booze. Let's go somewhere and, you know, whatever. But that those don't include family. And I like your idea with the, um, like the jazz game. The families get to come? Mm -hmm. Is it just, yeah. So I think I also like the uh, the other side of when you can well, include the families and actually get to meet everyone and let everyone meet each other. Well, and some of the benefits that we found from that as well is, you know, like uh, we threw a party when we opened up a new office and we invited all of, you know, whoever wanted to come, the community, but families. And, and I remember one of the things that was neat was uh, we had some employees bring, you know, even their parents and then their parents saw where they, they were working. And then conversations were struck up about, you know, what it is exactly that we do, you know, because parents never understand what, you know, when their kids try to explain them, especially digital marketing, what it is. What is it you do for a living again? You work on the Google? But, um, so you, you get them there in that situation and they, and they, uh, you know, start to learn what you do. And we actually have gotten several referrals from it where one of the, the parents saw, oh, okay, this is what you do now. I understand it's marketing. It's online marketing, marketing and advertising. Um, oh, app development. We need an app or, oh, you know, we need a billboard created for us. And so it's like, there's many opportunities that have come from it. And so that's why I think it's awesome, you know, when you get family involved and stuff like that as well. So one of the things that I thought was pretty good with what you mentioned with what you did in San Diego was just that whole, the team building part of it. And maybe we should explore that a little bit more because one of the things that uh, we struggle with as an agency is, you know, just keeping people happy and keeping them on board. Um, and I think that if you can build good, happy teams, again, focus on that culture, it helps with a lot of that. And so, um, I don't know, did you find that when you were doing those exercises and it made you want to be around those people longer and stay at the company longer? I think so. It's It was cool to be able to meet and interact and not just sitting on calls with clients, not just in strategy meetings, not just on pitches or whatever, but to actually have time set aside with different groups and different people that maybe I'd seen or talked to on calls because, you know, our company was kind of remote. So we had a lot of people in San Diego. We had people in Boston, London, Chicago, some other remote people. And you didn't quite get to see all those people. Um, you never really got to put a, a face to a name other than maybe just a picture, which isn't quite the same as, you know, Figuring gotcha. out that that person's actually 6'6", six, six, or maybe they're 5'4", and you always thought they were, you know, something different. Um, but I think it would work, especially with the working with other teams and working with people outside of your own little group, I think makes more connections. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes total, makes total sense. And a lot of the feedback that we've gotten, whether, it, and again, I know we're talking about office Christmas parties and holiday parties, but I think just... Um, just things in general, when you get the team out there, like we've done several, uh, I, whatever you want to call them, we've done several outings where we've done, where we've gone and helped a lot of charities where, you know, just some of the comments that we've gotten have been, you know, it was really good to get out. And I'm so grateful that Avalanche gave us the time to be able to, um, you know, give of our time and, and put to a good cause. It's good to get to be able to be with these people in a situation, you know, be with your coworkers in a situation where you can kind of see, I don't know if you want to say the real them, but them in a more natural environment. You know, everyone acts a certain way and does their best to be professional at work. And, you know, you don't really let loose so much. And so when you have these other opportunities, I think it helps when at the when you're at the office, so to speak, and you're having a stressful time, you can remember back to those times when you connect with other people on different levels. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying. Yeah, it does. And I think it's just the, um, I, I think what we're getting at, and which I don't think we intended to, but I don't think the office party just has to be, hey, let's go to this place and go eat some food and have some drinks or, you know, to this thing. But I think 
there's different ways to approach it. And depending on the size of your team, um, you know, for some small companies that have five people that, you know, are with each other all the time, maybe instead of some sort of, you know, it's a weekend getaway where everyone gets to go and you don't talk about work. Right. <laughs> you know, you just do something completely different um, for a smaller group. And maybe, you know, from being in the Chicagoland area, and if it's a smaller group, it's like, you know, maybe you just go in up to the Dells or you go skiing at, you know, something, uh, Wilmot Mountain, which really is a mountain if you saw it. Um, it's a mountain here in Chicago, which, you know, is funny. Well, the, the, you, what you said kind of got me thinking, maybe we could help people and give them ideas. Maybe they're wondering, okay, well, what, what is there? What, what's the kind of stuff that I can do? Um, you know, besides just uh, having parties or whatnot. So a lot of the stuff, you know, like I said, um, like I mentioned before, we've done a lot of charity events um, where we've organized with certain places that, you know, we've call, called in advance and we say, hey, Avalanche is going to come here. We're going to donate two hours of our time. You put us to work. Well, when you do something like that, it gives a lot of opportunity. I've gone on, on different occasions or I've made sure that there's someone that is photographing or um, videoing. And so you have, uh, you know, you have the video that you could use on Instagram. You could use it at on YouTube, you can use it on your website, um, you can take LinkedIn. snippets from LinkedIn, everywhere, exactly, yeah, perfect. Yep. And so you you, you just want to make sure, again, now it's, it's not like, hey, let's do this just for the social play, but if you're going to do it, and you're going to give it your time, and you're going to have that opportunity, then you might as well document the content as well. You know, you know me, always documenting content. Yep, well, and a lot of, um, one of my um two of my friends that have an agency here in Chicago, just, I just saw him post something on LinkedIn, like one of the best places to work type of thing. Right. Um, in Illinois. And, you know, as you, as you get a larger company, such as yours, yours is, you do have to attract talent. You do have to attract people. And those types of, you know, best place to work in Illinois, best place to work in Utah, you know, Salt Lake yeah. City, best place, to, you know, those types of, having these types of different events can help contribute to that. I would, yeah. I, I would assume that's part of why, you know, you guys would win such an award and why um, my friends have, and they also have things where they'll host um, like social media week and they'll host other things that get the community involved with them. And you can say it's an event, um, but it also allows then like you, you were talking about, you know, you had all of these different, the community come in, and kind of talk and visit. And they started like, well, what do you guys really do? Right. You know, and started asking questions about you. Well, you know, the, some of the other things that we've done, again, I'm just trying to help people with ideas. You know, we got parties, we got um, charity stuff. We have, what we've done is community. Just, just community. And where we've invited um, lots of different food trucks to our building. And hey, look, you know, we're gonna have an avalanche day. Uh, or even just one food truck, you know, depending on what you can afford or whatnot. And so, you know, when we've done events like that, it's brought in all the neighboring buildings and people, oh, that's a great barbecue food truck, you know, get together. What's this for? Oh, you know, Avalanche was wanting to get to know the neighbors. Um, so there are, are those kind of, uh, 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 you know, those kind of opportunities as well. And so, again, I think, you know, with the, the, the team building, you know, exercise that you guys gave, um, one of the things that we've done too is we've given out, um, we have relationships with, uh, uh, you mentioned skiing. We have relationships with a lot of the U, you know, Utah ski places, ski resorts. And so we will send teams, um, not the whole office, but we'll send teams at different times uh, to go ski for free. Or we'll send, um, you know, we have relationships with uh, the hotels. And so we get passes for, Weekend stays at really nice luxury five star hotels. When we've passed those out to team members and they've taken their spouses, and it's like that was amazing. They come back happy, they're refreshed. That was an awesome perk. That you, so, like things like that. I don't know. No, that makes sense. It's. I, I think when people think office parties or holiday parties or something like that, um, we once did in Chicago because we had a really limited budget we somehow um, ended up getting a Groupon. Like we used Groupon twice. <laughs> well, Groupon, feel free to give us free stuff. Um, like someone found like a river boat cruise thing where we all, you know, oh, yeah. got to go out on the on Lake Michigan. Another time 
we um, just the SEO team, we went and we went to a White Sox game, which honestly is the last, I, I can't remember the time I went to a White Sox game prior to that because I am a Cubs fan. Um, but, you know, we got to watch them. I don't know if they won or they played the Yankees. I was, which just shows you how many people in Chicago <laughs> don't go to White Sox games. But um, it was just like this random thing. They're like, oh, by the way, in three weeks, um, you know, we've, we've got tickets and we're going to, you know, oh, you can eat buffet for a little while. And then, you know, you, you got seats and you can hang out. And if you want to leave or you don't want to go, just let us know. Uh, but that was just a simple kind of team party that we did. Um, just to kind of get a bunch of us together with some of the executives that we're visiting. You know, this the kind of in, in wrapping it up kind of gives me an idea. You know, I thought about something while we were talking about all this that I think might be beneficial for, for people that are trying to figure out how to do this for their agency or their small company or their small, but whatever it might be. Um, one of the things that we put together at Avalanche was uh, we formed a culture committee. And uh, we, yeah, call we, it, had one. we call it culture club, but we don't sing come a come a come a chameleon. How old is everybody? How old is everybody to catch that reference? Anyway, um, so (laughs) we, uh, yeah, so we, we, uh, you know, we we have this committee together and they're in charge of all the the charity stuff that we do, the quarterly um, budgets for parties, you know, like we just, uh, Halloween just happened and and we had a big Halloween decorating contest and chili cook off. Uh, We're going to be doing a big get together where everyone's bringing in their favorite Thanksgiving um, dish and, you know, kind of have it as with our, uh, you know, Thanksgiving is about family. We're doing it with the, the, uh, the avalanche family, if you will. And so all of this is run and it's made smoother by having some sort of a, uh, of a culture committee. So that's what we do. I would recommend anyone listening. Um, That would be kind of my final thoughts on this. Just if you're going to get into this and figure out how to take advantage of it and use it, for the socials, all the stuff that we've talked about, you know, it, it's uh, it would be beneficial to have some sort of a committee in charge of it all. Final yeah, thoughts, Dave? Um, I I still struggle with what to do since I'm a single person company, right? And if anyone has any ideas, I always try to think of stuff, and I always like I'll be at home going, yeah, cheers. I'll go get a beer or you know something, <laughs> and cheers other people having their office parties. Um, I'd be curious, drop us, you know, hit us on Twitter or Facebook or even in the comments, if there's any solo kind of entrepreneurs or solo owners or, you know, just people with no budget, what do you guys do and gals do? Yeah, that- I'm just kind of curious because I always struggle with, you know, what, what am I going to do for my Halloween office party? <laughs> like, I'm not going to decorate my desk for myself. So yeah. I'd be curious because I, or, I don't know. Or should you? Could you do something really creative and have it as, you know, that's, that's your content you're creating. And then you have that for a week of uh, different postings of pictures you took or video or something. You know, yep. It could be really funny. You know, you're the one man shop, but you did all this and you did it to create content and what kind of social play did you get? Anyway, it, it drives a, an interesting conversation and thought. Yeah. So that's all I got. All right. Well, everybody, hopefully you got something from this. Uh, Thank you for listening. For Dave Rohr, I'm Matt Siltala, and we will catch you on the next one of these Business of Digital podcasts. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, all.